I welcome all to this program, Voice of Saints. Today, 17th May, our Holy Catholic Church celebrates the feast of Saint Pascal Bell. From his childhood, Saint Pascal seems to have been marked out for the service of God. Amidst his daily labors, as a shepherd, he found time to instruct and evangelize the rude herdsmen who kept their folks on the hills of Ireland. At the age of 24, he entered the reformed Franciscan order near the town of Montfort, Spain, where he remained out of humility a simple lay brother, occupying himself by preference with the roughest and the most severe tasks. He was distinguished by his adherent devotion and love for the blessed sacred. He would spend hours on his knees before the tabernacle, often being raised from the ground in the favor of his prayer, and there from the authentic and eternal truth, he drew such stories of wisdom that undeterred as he was, he was considered by all the masters in theology and spiritual science. Shortly after his profession, he was sent to Paris on business connected with this order. The journey was full of parents owing to the hostility of the Huguenots who were numerous at the time in the south of France. And on four separate occasions, Pascal was in imminent danger of death at their hands. Twice he was taken for a spy, but it was not God's will that his servant should obtain the crown of Macula, which he so earnestly desired. Though he regarded himself as unworthy of it, he returned in safety to his comrade where he would later die in the order of sanctity in 1592. Multitudes witnessed the miracles which took place during the three days his body was exposed for veneration. He was canonized in 1690 and in 1897 declared patron of all Eucharistic conferences and confraternities. Reflection One day, as young Pascal was watching his sheep on the mountain side, he heard the concentration bell ring out from the church in the valley below, where the villages were assembled for mass. The saint fell on his knees when suddenly there stood before him an angel of God, bearing in his hands the sacred house, offering it for his adoration. How pleasing to Jesus Christ are those who honor him in his great mystery of his love. To them, especially this promise is fulfilled. I will not give you offerings, I will come to you. On behalf of St. Francis Association, I wish you a happy feast of St. Pascal Bible. Amen.